What do you use to define outperformance? What is the time frame? What are you using? Are you using a trend proxy? At some at yes. some point, you have to define those metrics. You definitely do. So. Um, Again, this is that whole thing of you come to a CMT, you hear a little thing and that sort of goes in your mind and percolates a little bit. Uh, I was talking to Tom Dorsey and Tom, you know, mentioned at one of the events here how their model was taking every single security, dividing them using a point and figure type proxy and then determining leadership by counting up, you know, the stock that had the most outperformance. So very similar. So what we're looking at is a uh, basically a change over a quarterly period. And we're saying, let's get all of those changes for the four asset classes. And then we divide each one by all of the others. And so if stocks divided by bonds is going up, then stocks gets one tick. If it's stocks divided by commodities is going up, it gets another tick. So eventually, whichever one has got three ticks, meaning it's outperforming all other asset classes, then it's it's going up. Now, over that, we do add a ATR-based filter so that we're not chopping and changing all the time. Uh, I, I want it to be pretty consistent over a period uh, so that we're not getting mixed signals. Uh, you know, it's got to be longer than what my typical hold time would be for my strategy.